Um, well, today I am going to show you my little tricks on pulling off a bold lip. So right now I'm just wearing this really nice, um, rich kind of wine color. But really, this just applies to any bold lip. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy it. So with no further ado, go off and see my video. Okay, so we're going to start off with kind of a nice light brown in the crease. And I like to do this, I just like to make my eyes like neutral. It's a very soft, neutral, so that they're not competing with the lip. So I'm going to start with the Naked palette and the color Naked. I'll put that right in my crease, even a little like above it. And just in like windshield wiper motions, slightly put it in there. Okay. So I've got that done. Now I'm going to take a little bit of a stiffer brush and a little bit smaller. And I'm going to take the color Buck. It was just a couple shades darker than Naked, but I just like to put that like right on the outside just to give a little more definition. So, and these are both matte shades. It's kind of like a little V applying and then just blending. Not too um, specific. Okay, there we go. Um, then I just like to highlight the inner part of my eyes just to wake them up, wake them up a little bit. Um, you don't have to do this though. So I'm just going to take a small little brush um, and I'm going to take the color Sin and pop that right there. And then I take the color Virgin and put it right on top. I think it just, the combination just makes my eyes really pop. Okay, sorry if I keep looking down. I have my mirror right here. Okay, so that is it for the eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take an eyeliner. I'm taking brown. This is West by Urban Decay. And I'm just going to lightly, rough, like, not roughly, messily put it um, on my upper lash line. So I'm just going to do that really quick. That one turned out a little weird. <laughs> That's okay. Um, then I'm going to curl my eyelashes. And I like to curl my eyelashes with a spoon. That might be really weird. But I just find the eyelash curlers don't really give me a nice curl. They kind of give me like a square curl. Like, you know. So I'm just going to use a spoon. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to go right ahead and use mascara. I just rediscovered this mascara. This is the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black in the waterproof formula. And oh my goodness, I'm so glad I found it again. I'm loving it. So, I'm going to put kind of um, just a light coat on. the face so I like to keep this neutral as well so um, I like to use just a light bronzer so I'm gonna be using NYC smooth skin sunny bronzer it's just a really light bronzer so I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and just get that all over my face up here at the temples and then down to like the hollows of my cheeks and then down my neck I actually might take a little bit and put it right on my nose. Just like that. Um, and then for my blush, I'm using this one by MAC. You can see. Um, it's just a really kind of boring color, but I think it looks just so pretty on the cheeks. And it doesn't overpower the look. So this is in Cubic. Um, and I'm going to just take any brush. I just like to use this one. Flat one. Now, I found it takes like a lot of product to really build this blush up. Okay, as you can see, it's kind of a barely there color, but it gives me a little bit of color because if not, I would look like a ghost. <laughs> okay, so I'm done with that, 
and I'm just going to go highlight, um, and I like to use, I think this is Albatross, Albatross, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm not, just, it's in this big palette, um, and it's just a nice kind of pinky shimmery shade, I'm just going to take a small brush and, and just, um, put that right on top of my cheekbones, like that. And then right there and right down my nose. Um, and I'm going to also put a little bit under my brows. Just to kind of lift my brow bones up a little bit. Okay. Um, and then I kind of like to do my brows like a, at the end. I don't know why. Um, but I'm just going to take the Anastasia um, Brow Wiz in Chocolate. It's just little small strokes, just filling my brows in. And then I'm going to take the spoolie side and just kind of like blend it in. At the same time, kind of like get my unruly hairs into con in control. So, right now, I'm going to go with the dark lipstick, which is the main big element in this um, look. Um, you can go with any type of red or any type of bold lipstick. These are a couple of my favorites. So this is um, Pomegranate by Bite Beauty. This one's really nice. Kind of it's a bright, bright red. And then this one that I'm loving lately is Divine Wine by Maybelline. And it's in the matte. And it just has like this beautiful, just dark, very fall color. So I'm going to go a little risky and just try to do this right out of the bullet so let's see how that turns out um, I'm just gonna take a smaller mirror um, to hold it just so I get a little bit of a closer look okay as you can see it's not perfectly crisp um, so I'm gonna go over the outside a little bit with a little bit of concealer. Um, I'm using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC20. So I'm just going to take a small brush. Um, kind of an angled one. And just right outside. Okay, so I have some lipstick in my teeth. <laughs> so to help that, I have a couple tricks that I will show you. Okay, so I take a toilet paper, tissue paper, whatever you have around, and just kind of put it in your mouth like, I'll show you. <laughs> kind of like close your mouth around like, you know? And you just kind of get it all around. And that kind of gets it right from inside so you don't get it all over your teeth. And then I take another one and I just separate the layers. So like if it's double ply, just take like one ply, like that. Um, and I put this right over my lips. And with a little bit of loose powder, just a little bit. Um, let me see. Like that much, just a very small amount, and just put this right on top of your lips and just press it in. Okay, there we go. And that kind of intensifies that matte look, and it just makes your lipstick last so much longer. Like, I've actually eaten before, and like, you can't really tell that my lipstick's done anything um gone or anything so that's the finished look um you can add another coat of mascara which i might actually i'll do it right now and i'm just gonna take a little bit of that naked shade right under my eyes oops you can barely tell it's there but I don't know. Um, so yeah, that's the finished look. So 
I guess my tips are to pull off a bright lip or just a bold lip. Um, just keep everything else really natural, really neutral. Uh, just don't don't do something too big on your eyes because then you'll be like competing or something like too wow on your cheeks because then you'll have all these looks like competing for each other and it might make you look kind of like a clown. I don't know. Um, of course, everybody has their own preferences, but this is just how I like to wear my bold lips. So I hope you guys give it a try and if you do, please tell me, leave me in the comments down below, let me know. Um, if you guys want any videos or just want to say something to me or just want to leave just any type of comment, um, any constructive criticism, anything, you know, I'm just starting out so I'd really love to hear from you guys. Um, well, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!